Happy Vlogmas, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Rika. I love everything pink and I'm also an entrepreneur. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on those notification bells so you do not miss when I upload. I upload every single week and for the month of December, I'm uploading every single day, okay? So I I'm coming with the concept back to back. If you're not new, welcome back, you guys. So I kind of got a late start in my day today because I did go out last night. <laughs> And I didn't get home till like 10, 11 a.m. this morning. Of course, I had to shower, get myself together. So I did have a late start in my day. As soon as I got home, I started working on my to-do list. So I already got a few things done because I had two YouTube videos to edit, which was um, yesterday's Vlogmas video. If you haven't seen it yesterday, I did go shopping for Pink Fine, so that video will be up tomorrow. And then today's video that's going up on my channel was a day in the life as a entrepreneur, substitute teacher, and just showing like my pink kitchen aesthetic stuff. So if you haven't seen those videos, definitely check those out they both those videos i uploaded them i also have to pack you guys i am going to montana on sunday and y'all want to know why because vending machine number seven is going to montana i think this is the first time i'm revealing where my vending machine is going to vending machine number seven so i have four vending machines in new jersey one in texas one in delaware and now i have one going to montana and what's crazy you guys is with the montana location that one was given to me so when i tell y'all post that content they literally reached out to me the mall reached out to me the leasing manager reached out to me via seeing my post on instagram and said she would love to have my vending machine at her mall and now it's going there and like i'm like really like in my head i'm like oh my god like your girl is being seen like they want me to i've never even been to montana before i've shipped there i've shipped to all the 50 states but i've never been to montana so the fact that my first time going to montana is to take my vending machine is crazy so i'm super super grateful for the opportunity you guys so definitely stay tuned for that vlog i still cannot believe it you guys seven vending machines in one year seven locations secured in less than one year this location was actually secured about two months ago but um i did have to order the machine because since she gave me the location i didn't have you know a machine ready to put there and y'all know it takes a process it ships by sea so it was actually like secured about two months ago but the machine actually got there this week but we i rearranged it for monday because i'm in texas at the moment so if you are interested in getting into the vending machine business all information is on my website my vending machine vendor it is one vendor that all seven of my machines are from she's on the website my ongoing video series it's also on my website. It is a ongoing video series. I talk about how to secure a location, everything you need to know, video conversation of me contacting the malls, what exactly to say, what to do. All of that is on my website. You can also book a phone call to talk to me directly if you do have questions on anything vending machine related, starting a business. Everything's on my website. Starting a business, everything. Link is in the description box, www.itasty.com. Okay? So that vending machine that's going to Montana is going to be a mixture of press-ons and lashes so i have the la the press-ons that i have set aside for that vending machine and my press-on vendor is also on the website so if you are looking to sell press-ons for your business my vendor um is on the website so i'm gonna i'm trying to figure out how i want to pack this suitcase because at first i was like i wanted to bring a 50 pound suitcase and then of course the carry-on and a backpack but i'm literally just going just for this so my flight i booked is for a sunday to tuesday but if i'm able to get everything done on monday i'm gonna fly back on monday and just change my flight so it's not like i need a week's worth of clothes like whatever i'm bringing i can fit in my backpack like i'm literally just packing myself an extra you know sweatsuit because i'm wearing a sweatsuit because i heard it's cold there so it's like i'm gonna pack me a sweatsuit and a night outfit and then um I'm gonna have on a sweatsuit so i'm not packing too many things literally just that in my backpack and calling it a day and then um i wanted to bring the 50 pound suitcase but i'm thinking i might just bring my small carry-on the only thing is y'all i don't know if all of this is gonna fit in there i doubt it will so i might have to check in a bag i'm feeling like i have to check in a bag because i have to fit press-ons and lashes and i really have to stock this machine up because it's all the way in montana so I don't plan on going back there until another two to three weeks so it really got to be stocked up and i got this big box over here so i don't think 
I'll be able to make it fit. We gonna have to see you guys. We'll see about that later. But right now I am about to go live on Instagram because I am gonna do a special on my phone calls. It's the end of the year. People are saying that they need my help. They wanna discuss business with me. So we'll do a 50% off sale and see who all is serious and who is going to book. So I'm gonna go do that um, to get some people because this evening I'm pretty much free. I am gonna go out later tonight at the spot by my house, but that's not until like, you know, nine o'clock at night and it's only five o'clock right now. It's four four o'clock, it's only four o'clock right now. So I wanna get like a few phone calls in today. I wanna get some phone calls up for tomorrow. Um, and then Sunday I'm gonna be on the plane of course, but if I do get people to book on Sunday, I'm fine with that as well. And I'm excited for Sunday's vlog, you guys, cause I'm going to Montana. So I'm gonna have to look up things on TikTok to do since Sunday my flight gets there, I think at, in the afternoon, like 12-ish. So I'm gonna have to check into the hotel and then I can go explore the city. So definitely, I said explore the city, I don't know. Uh, from what I've heard, it's mountains there. If there's anybody that lives there, comment. <laughs> But yeah, I'm excited, you guys. I'm super excited. And then also, I am going to go live on my Patreon as well. So my Patreon is my group mentoring exclusive. I did plan on having um, steak, potatoes, and green beans for dinner tonight. But we'll see, you guys, because I really am not in the mood for, for cooking. But it's not like it's going to take that long to cook. But still, I'm really not in a cooking mood today. I'm like, I'm really tired right now, and I tried to take a nap, and I couldn't, so... But anyways, we gotta, we're about to go live on Instagram because the Patreon live is 5 p.m. So yeah. Okay, y'all. So I went live on Instagram and I got a few people to book the phone call with the promotion, but they all booked for tomorrow. So I don't, um, nobody was available for today. I had people saying they was available, but they didn't book. So as far as the people that booked, they booked for tomorrow. They booked for tomorrow, so I'm glad they took advantage of the promotion because, like I was saying, I'm not going to be doing promotions as often. You're, like, I've been doing promotions all year. At one point, my phone calls was only $15. And not to toot my own horny horn, but I've done a lot in this business world. I've, I've done a lot. Like, if we're being real, who do you know in real life that has seven vending machines? Who do you know in real life? That has had seven vending machines. I have received over 25,000 online orders. Across all of my social media platforms combined, I have probably at least now over half a million followers across all my platforms. So, yeah. So right now I'm packing these mystery bundles. Mystery bundles is on my website or they are on my website. And if you don't know what the mystery bundles are, it's basically 20 pairs of mixed lashes. This is great for anybody who wants to start a business, a lash business without spending hundreds or thousands of dollars because the mystery bundle is only $40. So it's $40 and it comes with 20 pairs of mixed lashes. So that makes it $2 a lash. So you're spending $40, right? but you can make up to $200 because with these 20 pair of lashes, if you resell them at $5 each, that's $100. If you resell them at $10 each, that's $200. Minus the $40 you spent, you made $160 profit on just 20 pairs of lashes. So it's always been on my website. So if you are interested in starting a business, a lash business, oops, with less than $100, definitely grab you a mystery bundle. This is also a way for you to see um, what kind of styles you know that your customers like and things like that. And again, you're not spending that much money. You're only buying 20 pairs of lashes and you're seeing what it does. And I have a few of them to pack. Oh, dang. A lot of people got mystery bundles. But... You're testing them out to see how your customers like them, to see if this is what you want to do. And I highly recommend this as well. Like if you're somebody that you want to start a business, but you're not ready to, you know, spend all of this money as in making a website page, um, making an Instagram page. If you're not ready to do that route, I recommend you purchasing a mystery bundle. That way you can sell to your family, friends, your coworkers, just people that you know. And then once you've sold all 20 pairs of lashes, because if you think about it, some people might buy all, um, 
all five pairs one person might buy 10 pairs and you can resell it from anywhere from five to ten dollars you're only spending two dollars let's just say three for the sake of shipping so even if you're you resell for five dollars you've still made two dollars per lash you feel what i'm saying so you can do it sell those 20 pairs of lashes get your content from the people that shop and then turn around and actually start a brand and be like, okay, I, I like this. I sold out. I'm trying to expand. Let me make a website and do all those things. So there's different routes you can go when it does come to starting a business. And if you do need help with that, book a call, girl. Book a call on my website and let's get you together. You can book a phone call for anything. Bending machines, business, starting a business. You can um, book a phone call concerning any questions or concerns that you have for me as long as it's business related book a phone call okay so for any business related questions pick your brain questions all of those things book a call and we'll get you together so i'm just packing like i said i have a lot of people that ordered them because i did kind of like promote the fact that you can start your business with only 40 dollars. so a lot of people did take advantage and was like let me get me a mystery bundle so I'm working on those orders now. Once I finish these orders, I am going to start packing my suitcase for Montana. So once I finish this, we're going to head to the living room so that I can pack all of my press-ons, my lashes that I'm bringing. I just want to have the suitcase packed and ready to go. And as far as what I'm packing for myself, um, I haven't really decided, but I know I'm going to pack like, like I said, two sweatsuits and stuff like that. I need to find my hat, but let me let me get these orders done and I'm gonna check in with you guys in a second. Yeah, I still haven't decided if I want to cook or not. It's 624, so if I do end up going outside, I'll probably leave in maybe two hours. Cause I did shower already. So, and I don't know if I want to do my makeup. I don't think I'm gonna do my makeup tonight. Just because the spot I'm going to is chill vibes. Like I don't have to go face beat it's just i just like doing my makeup sometimes because i don't do makeup often so it's like i love to you know be giving cute and giving fine and face card don't decline even though it don't decline with or without makeup but you know what i'm saying and i still got to record the content for this brand i have two more wig collabs potential wig collabs because i'm still waiting on them to get back to me i told them my price and um did i send my address Okay, yeah, so one of them, I already accepted the terms, and I sent her my information. Right? Did it send? Let me make sure that it sends again. But yeah, so for the one brand, I've already accepted the terms that they gave me, and I sent her my address already, like the address to ship the wig to. So I guess that one's a go. But I'm excited, you guys. I'm trying to think of, would any of y'all be interested in any of these wigs that I've been wearing? Because at this point, your girl done got, I probably got like six wigs by now. And it's like, I don't mind doing a promotion on them. Of course, I'm going to like wash them up real nice. I'll have my friend um wash them up real nice and style them. And just um, put them on my website for anybody that wants them because it's getting a lot. Like I have this one. I have the, of course, I love to keep me a black wig. I have a black wig, but that, that, was, that one is not an option. But the wigs I have coming in, I have a brown one coming in for the potential one. So we'll see. But would you guys be interested if I discounted the hair? Like it's not going to be over $100 at all. <laughs> It's not going to be over $100 because I did wear it. It will be cleaned and stuff. And it's just for anybody who is interested in them. And I'll just ship it out to y'all and have it on my website. But we'll see. I don't even know if I should ask tonight, y'all. Because people be lying. Y'all will sit here and say yes, yes, yes. And when it's on the website, y'all will not shop. <laughs> y'all will not shop. And y'all know I, I am not afraid to say that. I'm not going to be that entrepreneur that sits here and puts on a persona people literally will say they want something and when the time comes they do not shop so that's why i'm just at the point like i said if somebody if they want it they will get it okay trust me because everybody knows how to go shop on amazon when they need something they know how what website to go on when they want to shop so trust me 
If they wanted to shop, they would. That goes for family, friends, whoever you feel like it applies to. If they wanted to, they would. So stop making excuses for people. Or maybe this, this, and that. If they wanted to, they would. Because I don't care how you feel about this economy that we're living in. People are still making making um, time to shop on Amazon. They're still making time to shop with who they want to shop with. They're going to always make time for that. People want what they want. They want what they want. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Because at the end of the day, you're entitled to spend what you want to spend your money on. Because nobody's telling me what I'm spending my money on. You're entitled to spend your money on what you want to spend your money on at the end of the day. Nobody can tell you what you can or can't do with your money. But I'm just saying that people people spend, spend money with what they want. They buy what they want. So let me get to these orders, y'all. Because I do have to go to the post office tomorrow. I might not go to the post office tomorrow. I'm going to just leave these orders outside and schedule a pickup on Monday. Because I might not leave the house tomorrow. Oh, snap. I'm trying to see what everybody's been ordering. But start your business today, itasty.com. I'll check it with you guys in a second so we can pack this suitcase. Okay, y'all. So now I'm about to pack my suitcase with my vending machine inventory. So I'm also going to record real content. Of course, y'all know the vibes. Everything is content. We got to have the YouTube content. We got to have the real content. So let me just get some... And I think I might take the press on out the box. Because I do have more press ons, but I want to see how this fits first. And these are the lashes that I'm using. Because, like I said, I'm doing both um, lashes and press ons for this machine. So now I'm going to show myself packing my suitcase. So I think I'm going to start with the lashes first. Let's start on this side. my video yeah that's a whole 37 seconds because I think for the when I do the video it's kind of going to be like a voiceover and I do have to go get some more lashes as well because I'm also can y'all see I'm also going to add some butterfly lashes in there as well so it's like I want some rolls I don't know how my camera does that stuff where it like flashes I don't know why he's doing it, y'all. Let this. Uh, I swear, when I had my Canon camera, I did not have no issues. The only issue I had was at one point, like, which was why I ended up getting a Sony, was because my Canon camera, when I would um, record, I guess I dropped it too many times, it was like blurry. Like, I would record, and then once I'm editing, it looked blurry, and I would be so mad because it was so many videos, y'all, I have recorded. But when I went to edit them, they just looked too blurry, and I just refused to upload them. So, I had went, and I'm like, okay, let me try the Sony one because people say the Sony is good for vlogging. And the other Sony I had, the, the battery was horrible. So, this one, the battery is not as bad, but it's like, I don't know what that's about. Maybe it's something in my settings. So, I'm going to start putting the press on. On this side. Yeah, I cannot. I have a thousand press ons coming in. And I hope it comes before um, when I have to go back to New York at the end of the month because I ordered so much. Like, I literally ordered a thousand. <laughs> and honestly, I don't know how I'm going to travel with all of it. But it's going to have to work. Like, I might not just have to bring no clothes for myself just to be able to bring my inventory. Because I don't mind paying. Um, I mean, with Delta, I do get a free suitcase, like, to check in. 
I think the second one is $40, so I'm going to just have to pay the $40. It's just like coming back, the suitcase is going to be empty because all the inventory is going to be out. And I cleaned out my storage unit when I was um, in New York last week. Was it last week or the weekend before? I cleaned out my storage unit. So... Okay, so that box is empty, so I'm going to go grab the rest of the press-ons, and I'm also going to grab the butterfly lashes that I want to add, because like I said, y'all, this vending machine needs to be filled because um, it's in a whole nother state, and it's actually an inconvenience for me. My other vending machines, um, like the ones in Jersey and stuff, that's not a problem, but this one is all the way in Montana. I don't know anybody there. I've never been there, so... It really needs to be stocked to capacity because I'm not trying to check it for at least three months. And that's why when people are always like, which of course I know y'all don't purchase my series unless you wouldn't ask me those questions because I promise you, if you purchase my vending machine bundle, everything that you need to know concerning vending machines is in there. And um, people always ask like, oh, uh, how often like having vending machines. And I highly do not recommend having vending machines in other states if you know you can't keep up with it. And that part of it is also why when I say that people see other people doing stuff and they want to do it too, it might look cool to travel and go to all these different vending machines, but if you're not going to be able to keep up with the flights, the transportation, and all these different things, highly don't recommend. Because just imagine every time you're going to stock up a vending machine, if you go, if you put your stuff in a vending machine that's not driving distance, that you have to get on a plane. I've always been back and forth with Dallas and New York, but it's like if you're going somewhere that's a whole nother state, imagine paying for a flight. If you have to pay for an extra uh, luggage for your inventory, car rental, if you have to get a car rental, if you're not getting a car rental, you're going to have to Uber, Uber fees, hotels, like that stuff adds up and if you're not making that much money with your vending machine and you're not doing other things to make money don't expect to be rich off of this okay <laughs> and i'm just keeping it real i'm literally just keeping it real. So now i'm just putting the rest of the lashes in here so these butterfly lashes were actually discontinued so i was selling these butterfly lashes since i started um selling butterfly lashes but it's discontinued so I thought about like discounting them, but I'm like, no, nah, I might as well put them in the vending machine because the butterfly lashes actually do really well in the vending machines. So I said, let me just save them for my vending machine inventory versus, you know, selling it just to get rid of it and probably not making my money back. I'd rather just put it in the vending machine. So it was actually supposed to go to my Jersey vending machine, but... What's crazy is with my um, with my Mills and Jersey Garden location, I'm getting out of that location. This is my last month at that location. And um, I'm not sure which uh, mall I'm going to next because I'm still like in the process of doing that or whatever. But that machine still has lashes, but I only have like two other machines. Out of the seven vending machines, only three of them had lashes, which is the Mills and Jersey Gardens, my Brunswick Square Mall, which both of those are in, in Jersey, and then the Texas location. All the rest are just press-ons. So, I don't need these butterfly lashes because I still have a lot of lashes in the Mills at Jersey Gardens location since um, that machine is going to be press on. So, it's crazy. All the lashes, hopefully, like, I see on the app they've been purchasing, but it's like, hopefully, they buy a lot of the lashes, like, for this month, like, going big because... That machine is going to turn into a press-on machine because the malls that I'm looking at, it, they are accepting press-ons. So, I need to, so I already have all of my, point of saying all that to say was that I already have all of those lashes that's in that one machine, which is why I didn't stock it up in my last vlog when I stocked my machines. I didn't stock that one up because I told y'all that was my last month being there. So, whatever lashes are in there. I'm going to have to, especially since I don't have my storage unit now, I might just bring it back here because I have room in my suitcase anyway because I'm taking all these press-ons for the next trip. But whatever I don't sell or whatever whatever I'm not able to fit in my other vending machine. I mean, the vending machine does have slots to fill it in, but like they have a slot in there. 
And I'm going to show that to you guys, of course, for the people that purchased my series because y'all stay tuned for those parts. Stay tuned for the ongoing series because I have some more parts coming for you guys. Okay. So, I don't know if this is good enough. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to get more lashes and put it in here. But I'm going to go ahead and record this for my reel just to kind of show my luggage. Okay, so, and then I'll probably get a picture for the thumbnail. Yeah, I've been trying to do so well when it comes to my thumbnails. If y'all have not noticed, <laughs> I've been getting better when it comes to my thumbnails because the one thing I always forget to do is get a thumbnail picture. And especially for today, since today's a day in the life and it's not like I really went anywhere or did something outside the house, it was kind of hard for me to get thumbnail images. So, I may add some more lashes to this. I'm going to have to decide. Because I have my regular lashes that I sell. I might go ahead, because again, y'all, like I said, I need to stop this machine as much as possible because... I'm not going to that location until every three months. Three to four months, I'm really trying to stretch it. Unless it happens to do amazing, amazing. <laughs> because even my Delaware location, y'all, I put that location up, that machine there in July. I didn't check it until the end of November. So August, September, October, November, that was four months it went. And granted, it was empty, pretty much. But I went four months without checking it. I'm surprised they didn't contact me like, um, hello, your, your machine is looking very empty. But that's how I'm trying to be. After I stop this up next week, I'm not trying to go that way till April. <laughs> now I'm about to straighten up, y'all. One of my collabs came in today, which was crazy because the Amazon guy was like, can I get your password? I was like, what password? Like, I don't even have anything coming in today. But this is a blow dryer. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. It's for a paid TikTok collab. So let's see what it's giving. My, yeah, my fingers are so numb because I just popped my nails off yesterday. So this is the blow dryer. I'm probably going to use this for the Christmas giveaway after I use it. Because like I was telling y'all, these collabs have been coming in crazy and I do not need a lot of this stuff. Like I don't need four or five blow dryers. I have another blow drying company that I reached out to. That's why I'm like, all of this is going to have to stay for giveaways. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with the wigs. If I'm gonna pop them on my website, like even if it's $75 or $100, it's not gonna be over $100 just to, for someone that needs it at a discount. So this is another collab. This one is from Florist K. And let's see what she sent me. She gave me a thank you card. Ooh. I hope you enjoy your pink flowers. Okay, so this was a package that she did resend me because the previous one that she did send, it was damaged, like the post office damaged it. So she sent me another one and it's just super, super cute. Like I love having these things. And what's crazy is this is gonna go perfect on that other table that I got. Y'all, even when it comes to the tables and stuff, the company that a lot of my tables are from, like my smaller tables, the, if you follow me on Instagram, y'all have probably seen me post like the table that I have my books on, the rolling cart. They sent me those three things for paid collabs and they were trying to send me more stuff. That's I'm like, I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna conduct these giveaways. Cause it'd be so hard to do giveaways. Cause it's like, when you mention giveaways, that's when people come out the woodworks. So it's not going to be a free giveaway. But even when it comes to that, like if it's a customer only giveaway, it's just, y'all, it's just too much. So it's like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I just don't know. But this is just super, super cute. Super, super cute. Like I got purses. I got all of these things that I need to get rid of before New Year's. Like I wanna start fresh and clean on New Year's, especially since I'm barely gonna be here on New Year's. Not New Year's, but as far as 2024, 
I'm barely going to be here. So I don't like, I don't want the clutter. So I'm gonna have to think of something. So she sent me a free scrunchie and rubber bands. This is for something else, you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video on a day in my life as an entrepreneur, a day in my life at home. I know I didn't do as much stuff as I usually do in my vlogs, but I, it's Vlogmas and I gotta pick up the camera and record. And regardless, this is me and my authentic self. I'm not putting on a persona for y'all or anything like that. This was legit my day. I went out last night, didn't get home till 10, 11 a.m. Took a shower, yeah, I, st I didn't, still haven't taken a nap. Went live in my group mentoring, went live on Instagram, got calls booked for tomorrow, packed some orders, packed my luggage for my trip on Sunday. And the next time y'all see me, I will be in Montana. Cause I don't know if I'm gonna vlog tomorrow. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog tomorrow. Like I have plans tomorrow, but I don't know if I wanna vlog. Like I think tomorrow I'm gonna take a break because vlog y'all, let me just tell y'all, vlogmas is a lot. And this is, I was just telling my friend this today. This is the first time that I've actually participated in vlogmas, like straight head on. Like when I attempted to do it back in 2020, that was when I first started consistently posting on YouTube. Three years ago, I had like pre-recorded videos. So like I have recorded a whole bunch of business tip videos back to back to back and had those, you know, scheduled to go up. Last year, I don't know if I attempted Vlogmas last year, but it was, if I did, it was the same thing. So it was like this year, I'm kind of recording it in real time. So like this vlog I'm recording right now is gonna be up tomorrow. Tomorrow, um, right? No. No, tomorrow I have the Pink Finds video going up when I went to go shop and buy pink stuff. That video will be up tomorrow. This video that I'm recording right now that y'all are watching, this one will be up on Sunday. Sunday I'll get to Montana and that video will be up Monday. So I'm still proud of myself that I'm like a day ahead, but it's still being like recorded in real time and like I have to edit the videos the same day to put it up. Because for example, the Montana trip, that's going to be like a Sunday, Monday type of vlog and it's going to have to go up on Monday. And hopefully my camera, not my camera, my laptop is not acting up and whatnot. So we'll get it figured out, but I'm super excited for the Montana trip. Uh, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Check out my other videos because I've been coming with it. I still haven't decided what kind of festive recipe I'm going to create for Vlogmas because I do want to create a recipe that I've never made before so thank you to the few people that did leave me suggestions for that but because i know one person has said meatballs someone else said i saw like cookies and stuff at walmart it was like cookies and like the gingerbread house i don't not the gingerbread house but like you know the cookies similar to the gingerbread house like decorating that stuff i want to actually make a meal like I want to have a, a entree an appetizer like i just want to create a whole meal that's just the vibe I'm, I'm so if, if I can't think of what I'm just gonna attempt to make something from scratch because I did see like a recipe on Instagram which was like turkey wings this lady made turkey wings so I might do that and she had it like over rice with a vegetable so I might do something like that and then maybe make the meatballs as like an appetizer and then figure out some kind of dessert yeah I don't know I don't know but I'm tired y'all the fact that I'm still trying to go out and I don't even know what time it is what time is it Y'all, uh, it's 8.05, so I'm gonna give myself about an hour, cause like I said, I've already showered and everything. I'm gonna give myself about 30 minutes, not even an hour, but y'all, do I still wanna cook? It's like I don't wanna cook, you guys. <laughs> it's given I'm eating out tonight. I'ma just eat out at the spot I'm going to. I just don't, I just don't feel like cooking. I'ma just make the steak and potatoes tomorrow, maybe. If I don't make it tomorrow, I'll make it when I get back, which is bad because I literally just went grocery shopping. But it's like, I just don't see myself physically cleaning the meat, seasoning it, making it. And then also the steak, I bought this new skillet to test out. So it's like, I feel like now is not the time to be testing stuff out. I'm hungry. And the spot I'm going to, I love their rice with smothered chicken with zucchini. It's just so good. So that's the vibes it's giving for tonight. So that's what I'm gonna go have. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching. If you watch this video all the way to this point, what should I have y'all comment? Comment 
we ready for Montana. If you watch this video all the way to this point, comment we ready for Montana so I know that you guys are ready for the Montana vlog and you guys have been enjoying Vlogmas and you are a supporter and you support my content by liking and commenting. And thank you again. Thank you guys because I know a lot of you guys, excuse me, y'all have been here since day one of Vlogmas. Y'all hit the like button. Y'all leave a comment on every video and I appreciate you guys. I'm letting you know it does not go unnoticed, okay? I'm one of those people that I know the people that comment. So thank you so much for supporting my content. I appreciate you guys and I just can't wait to see what 2024 brings for my YouTube channel because like I've been telling y'all, I have a whole different look. Not really a different look, but it's going to be vlogs, but I have things I'm working on. And I still haven't told you guys some things as well, but I'm kind of like waiting to tell y'all. I don't, at this point, it's like, I don't know. Maybe I'll tell you guys. Maybe once Vlogmas is officially over, I'll tell you guys some things. Maybe then. But thank you guys so much for the support. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I will see y'all on the next one.